Early in the morning. Early in the morning. Early goes um oh how many followers do you have i have a hundred and twenty five thousand no her dick was almost as big as mine really and i said okay little big dick why do you have so many followers and she goes oh i'm a cheerleader and i'm like oh really and she shows me her instagrams which are like first of all i don't know if i'm allowed to say this but like she's like sexy she's like sexy you're disgusting. I know. Listen, we've talked about pedophilia before. No, no, this before. is the, it's Shane. Like, <laughs> like, do not say this, and do, like, I don't even want to talk about it. Like, you will get arrested. <laughs> like, he kind of can. Listen, he, he allegedly, has this justification, justification for pedophilia, okay. and it's so disturbing. And like, I, I just pretend that he doesn't. <laughs> okay, wait, no, like, no. Let me explain. Let no. me explain. Oh God. Here's my justification for pedophilia. I can't. Here's my thing. People have foot fetishes. People have fetishes about, you know, everything. Fine, everybody do your thing. So why is it when somebody looks at a Google's, like, naked baby on Google and jerks off to it, they can get arrested? Because, I don't understand Because... That. Here's so the worst part of it. I actually went to Google and I'm like, oh, I don't want to see. You can get arrested. I know, but I just wanted to see like, okay, let me just pretend, yeah. let me pretend like I'm a pedophile for a sec. So I typed in naked baby. First of all, they were sexy. <laughs> okay, back to the Instagram. Um, so I look at this little girl's pictures and she had makeup on. She had her tongue out. She was doing like the peace sign. She was doing the backflip. Is all. she like honey boo boo? Is she fat? No, she was like a skinny little sexy six-year-old. Welcome back to the channel, guys. You already know who it is. It's your boy, Cam. Topical juice. And I'm back with a boy. Yo, I don't even know what I'm back with because you all saw the video I just saw. You all saw the video at the start of this video. Like, where do we actually start with this? I'm sorry, there's not much to analyze. I'm not gonna go into detail about why Googling, you know what, I can't, man can't even say that. Like, what is wrong with this guy? I, you know what? First things first, before I get into the video, please smash the thumbs up for me, smash the like button, that is thumbs up, smash the subscribe button for me and hit the bell to be notified because you know why man, just hit the bell button. Anyway, Shane Dawson, I personally didn't know who this guy was and I am very very glad I did not know who man was before this, okay, because I would have been leading a hunting party to the states to chop this guy down you know <laughs> he is tapped he is fully fully crazy he is unwell and that this mentality here is scary is scary from my understanding shane dawson is a youtuber so he is a youtuber who's quite eccentric his past has been quite out there his skits well his past is very very bad i can't lie his past is troubling it makes me feel uncomfortable he made his name on YouTube by doing like having a lot of characters. He used to do um, blackface a lot. So he's got a past of kind of racist jokes. He also, uh, not just against black people, he used to dress up as Asian people. This guy's past is very, very concerning. I've done videos before where I talk about um, cancel culture, or holding people accountable, but people can change, okay? People can learn. People like this, I'm sorry, in, as, as far as I'm concerned and in my opinion, you are done, you are canceled, you shouldn't have a career. I can let certain racial things slide. People are ignorant, people change, people don't understand the society they live in, okay? People can make mistakes, right? No problem. I can let this, I can let the racial thing slide a lot of the time. Even though he started his YouTube career at 20 years old. You are a big man at that age, you know? Like you know the difference between right and wrong at that age. I'm sorry. I look at I look sometimes I look at 18 year olds like oh they're only 18. Like, I was a baby at 18 seven years ago. I was 25 now. You know I look at 17. Oh they're babies. They can make mistakes. 20 years old. There is no justification for googling babies that are without clothes. Yeah, man. I can't even say it. I can't even say those two words. N a k e d. Ugh. What's wrong with you? I've got dark humour, yeah, and I'll hold my hands up. I've got very, very, very dark humour, yeah? I can laugh at things that a lot of people probably look at you and say, Cam, you shouldn't be laughing at that. I, I think either everything's okay to say in terms of when it comes to humour or nothing is. So honestly, no, there's no joke, there's no joke I haven't heard. 
You know what I'm saying? One of my old friends used to take the piss out of me for not having a dad, for example, and things like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, this, that's the type of band that we, you know, even though that's traumatic stuff, we would laugh about that stuff. Or his, his mum was ill with something, and like, he would run jokes about that. Like, uh, that's what, that's what I'm trying to say. Like, I, I understand humour. What he said is not funny. There is no humour there whatsoever. Yeah? He said he doesn't understand what's wrong with Googling naked babies yeah I, I, oh god i'm not going to justify why googling things like that is wrong and comparing things to comparing foot fetishes to baby fetishes and paedophilia i'm not going to explain that because that's you have to be clearly unwell to think that that's an okay thing to say but we have to understand and really look at that mentality he doesn't see the difference between that so what else does he not understand the difference between what else can he not see what's wrong with if that makes sense. Like, if he can't see that there's a big difference between having a foot fetish and Googling something like that, and then he even said that he was, oh God, oh my God, he's like, then what else, what, what else is wrong in his mind? What else is he capable of in his mind? He even admitted on camera to Googling it. He called a six-year-old girl sexy. Blood clot. If this guy has a career after this, I will be shocked. The, the funny thing that we, I want to, I want to draw upon and highlight is his co-host or whatever, the co-worker that he was working with, right? He, she gave him numerous opportunities to shut his mouth. She, she said, "Please don't say it. You, you can get arrested. Please don't say it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Please don't." Yeah. He went ahead. He went ahead and said it anyway. This guy from i don't i barely did any research on him i did one google search and i need to know i've seen all i need to know there's ignorance and then there's sick and twisted and there's things that just can't really be like do you know what i'm saying i think that i think there's things that are, that are quite sensitive so like this leads me on to the racist stuff that he's been doing so he has a track record of racist behavior he has been seen and known to do blackface that was part of his thing he would have been told numerous times why that's wrong at the time but you know, it's part of the entertainment piece and things like that. I'm going to show you a very brief clip of something that he said about Trayvon Martin. Nikki, I'm trying to make a video that families can I watch. can't do it about Jesus. Oh, God. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Trayvon Martin. <laughs> well, maybe you wouldn't been walking this around the streets if you had a job. <laughs> oh! oh, oh. <laughs> If you don't know who Trayvon Martin is, he was a 17 year old young black brother, young black king who was murdered coming back from the store for no reason because he looked suspicious. So he was coming back from the store, the neighborhood watch guy, George Zimmerman, um, it was quite dark. He looked like he, 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 I think he was going into his own home actually, I think, and he looked suspicious. There was a tussle and he shot and killed a 17 year old boy. Yeah, he shot and murdered a 17 year old boy. He got acquitted of all charges, had a, had a second, because uh, he claimed self defense. There was a second trial, he bust that case as well, got away with it. Compl he murdered a 17 year old boy, one of the most famous cases in history, and got away with it, right? Because racism is very real, right? So you now have a guy who is white, who is guilty of blackface, guilty of racial jokes, and then comes out and says a comment like that about Trayvon Martin. As I said to you earlier, I've got dark humor. Racist humor, I find hilarious, you know, a lot of the time, you know, because I, if, I, if I can't laugh at it, I can't be, I, you know, I'm a, I have to laugh sometimes, you know what I'm saying? And I'm proud to say that my humor is very diverse. I can laugh at anything, you know what I'm saying? The reason why that's not funny, yeah, is because it's very, very, very insensitive because he is an innocent, innocent black boy murdered yet yeah, murdered by a racist white guy basically there's nothing funny about that coming from a person like that he has no right to make a joke like that and the reason why it's worse is because we know he's got history of racism that's why it's worse he needs to be cancelled this shane dawson guy is a confirmed pedophile and confirmed racist he should be locked up in jail. He admitted on camera to Googling naked babies. You know what? I can't even continue doing a video like this. This is crazy. I'm just going to end this here. I hope you liked the video. I hope you're as disgusted as I am because that literally made me feel sick. Yeah, I will see you tomorrow.
See you soon.